So I think you will enjoy this bug because um, it'll show you that whatever you're going through when you're trying to program stuff, uh, it it is the, always the same regardless of how advanced you are. So here you can see that what I've got is I've got a couple of missing chunks. I should have chunks here, here, and here. The chunk I'm actually looking for is a chunk at 3030. So as you can see, we're actually looking for a chunk at 3030, but then we never generate one, so there's no chunk there. And I mean, I've checked by clicking through these, and there's none at 3030, um, 30x and 30z. So I was like, okay, well, why isn't there one? And then I added in some debug. So I added in this debug that says, uh, after you find the chunk, if the chunk is null, then log that there was no chunk there. If the chunk, if there, if there was a chunk, log that you found a chunk, and then tell me where it is. Because I'm just trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Some basic stuff, right? So I hit play, and wait, it's still just giving me these positions. Oh, why is that? That that log command does not exist anymore. I am not calling that. So. I'll just go ahead and click on them and see where it takes me. Oh, it takes me into the file and it highlights this line. There's no debug.log on that line. So at this point, it's pretty clear that MonoDevelop and Unity have fallen out of sync somehow. And this is the sort of bug where you're like, what the fuck? Because MonoDevelop and Unity falling out of sync isn't something that should happen. Um, and the question becomes, well, what do I do? Do I need to re refresh everything? Well, will that help? Yes. So I just thought you might like to see that particular kind of bug. And you will notice that the out of syncness was actually what was causing the bug. Now, isn't that cute? So I'm going to describe what the actual bug was. This isn't really an episode. This is like episode 6.5. The bug was that over here in Chunk, and I'm sure some of you noticed this, I used to have it like this. And the bug was it needed to be greater than or equal to. Not really much of a bug. Um, and so that's the sort of thing that if you're running into bugs in your own code, uh, I'm also running into crazy bugs as well. But in most cases, if you do run into a bug, you can just double click on whatever the error message is and it'll take you straight to the line and you can figure out whether you're missing a colon or whatever. But uh, later on, uh, the bugs start to get pretty weird. <laughs>